The Bolin is a great knot, but under dynamic loading, it can come apart. So one potential way to make this more secure is with a Yosemite tie-off. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm going to need a little bit of extra tail, so I'm going to need a little bit of extra working rope. I'm going to take that and I'm going to form an overhand loop just by rotating my right hand clockwise. And I'm just going to tie a regular bowline up through that loop I created, back behind the standing part, and then down through this loop. Now that's the regular bowline to do the Yosemite tie off. We want to follow this loop around and then up out the top. So just take your working end and follow that line of the rope exactly. And there we have the Yosemite finish in its loose form. Now it's very important with this particular knot that you have to set it in the exact right order. And in order to do that, we're going to take the standing part and the bottom loop and we're going to pull those first. That tightens the original bowline up and then we'll tug on the working end to tighten the Yosemite finish. And that's what the finished knot should look like. Now if I take this Yosemite finish out, it's as we should expect, just a regular bowline again. Now if I dress this incorrectly, watch what happens. If I do the regular Yosemite finish, follow that loop around, up through the top, if I tug on the working end first, that will bring this loop up to the top. And then if I uh, tighten from the standing, standing part of the rope, the bowline will tighten from underneath. And now, if I take out the Yosemite finish, I've lost my bowline. I've got something completely different and this is not a secure knot at all. So when doing the Yosemite finish, it's very important that you get it right. So I'm going to show you that you finish one more time. That's the regular bowline. Come around, follow that rope through, and then after you've found the loose form, it's the standing part of the rope we need to pull first and then the working end. So the working end slides in up underneath the bowline. And there you have the Yosemite finish